What is the protocol for a commissioner should you want to overturn the call? And, and can, you know, you or actually in this case, of course, Bud Selig overturn that call? I don't think there is any protocol. I suspect he can, uh, a commissioner can overturn the call. But I think the reason there's no protocol is it almost never happens. And I don't think it should happen in this case. You know, the difficulty is to pull back, guys, and think about this uh, from some elevation. If you put aside the tragedy of the young pitcher and, and the tragedy of the umpire making a mistake, the fact is we all know that errors are part of the game. Umpires' errors have been part of the game we all know about Deckinger. We know about all the times in baseball history things have gone wrong. And I guess from Bud's perspective, I would think that his biggest concern will be if he does this, and he will be tempted to do it because it's, uh, you know, you're playing to the gallery. Everybody will applaud. Mm -hmm. The difficulty is that it sets a terrible precedent. And every time there's a missed call, Every time there's a game deciding, or even a historical event like this that gets affected by a mistake, uh, especially of the umpires, um, there will be uh, terrific pressure on him to uh, set things right. And so I think it's a case where he probably has the power. I hope he has the wisdom not to do it. You know, I can say that as an old-timer, guys. I'm not going to get blasted in the paper. (laughs) But, you know, it happens to be the right answer, and it's a very difficult situation. But you just can't go down that slope. It would lead to uh, a a frequent uh, list and category of just horrors for him. The only point that Kevin and I were talking about that it, from, the, from the perspective that it maybe made sense was because of the uniqueness, the fact that it was the last out of the game, you know, where, I mean, you, that you know, would never even consider overturning a call that, you know, a missed call in the fifth inning or that was the only hit of the game or something. But this, because it was eight and two-thirds, last call of the game and everything else, that and then, and then the next batter didn't get a hit, uh, you could at least consider it. And so our our feeling was, well, geez, you know, f- from either side it would make sense to do it. But you're, uh, do you still feel, after considering that, you'd still feel the same way, I guess? Well, you know, I think back to Milt Pappas and the famous uh, third strike uh, that would have been a perfect game had Bruce Fremming called it a strike. Fremming said it was inside. Now you can imagine if the replay, uh, there wasn't one then, but now you'd have a replay where it showed the ball was over the plate, and it should have mm-hmm. been a strike. And it was the one strike that kept Pappas from having a perfect game. Well, you know, there'd be terrific pressure. I mean, it, it, it strikes me that, look, we're playing a game. It's uh, It has its problems. It has its moments of sadness. This is a tough thing, but it's not as if it hasn't happened before, and it won't happen again. And I think both Joyce and the pitcher – feel terrible i think the bigger issue kevin and jim is what are we going to do about umpiring i mean i think the bigger subject is isn't there really a terrific uh, amount of pressure to have the big leagues take over the umpire school start to do a lot more i think the nfl is light years ahead of baseball in terms of the way they work with their officials train them watch them um evaluate them and i think baseball has an awful lot to do and every time one of these things comes up as it came up last year in the world series when mcclellan missed a couple of calls it 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 raises again the issue that baseball has to address namely got to do a better job of recruiting and training the umpires